talk about putting together a roof mount, a couple of roof mounts. What I'm putting together right now is for a TV antenna and it's similar to the roof mount we're going to put together for the wind turbine. And I'll show you the setup we've got. First I made up a, a template on a piece of cardboard and then backed up with a couple strips of plywood. And this template shows where to put the outer tips of the legs. And then I've got a threaded rod running up the center to center my uh, spindle. This is the mounting spindle. These are the legs. And today we're putting all this together, welding it all together with the AVX or AV5X, which is over here. This is the AV5X from Vortec. It's an industrial quality uh, shop welding machine, 250 amps. And I'm running this on DC current using stick so it's set on arc and this is it's set on 80 amps I'm using 3.30 seconds size rod which is just under 1 8th and for that, you don't want to go over 90 amps, and it seems like this welds about the best at 80 amps. Now the key to welding, especially stick welding, is you use the lowest amount of amperage uh, you can get by with and still get good penetration with your rod. If you get it too hot, it makes a great big mess, a lot of spatter. In the key to arc welding, is to keep the distance from the tip of your stick to your workpiece keep that very small don't don't make a long arc on it it's got to be kept close to the material otherwise you get a, a bad weld this is set on DC which is positive on the electrode negative on your ground clamp for welding, I'm using uh, an auto darkening helmet. This one has an extra large viewing area, which is about four and a half by five inches. And I like it because it allows you to see a whole lot more of your work rather than having the little, very narrow four inch by two inch slot. This allows you to see a, a whole lot more of your work. I've got it set to uh, auto darken up to number 10 and since we're using only 80 amps you don't need it any any darker than 10 shade. So that's our setup. It shows you basically how to set up all of your pieces. Always use templates use good equipment. DC welding is best for this, although you could use an AC welder. But uh, we'll put it together and show you what it looks like later. So I'll get back to work.